For today's video, we are going to continue our discussion on buying and selling. And this time, let us talk about what is mark-on. So when we say mark-on, it is a temporary markup on a certain products to take advantage of the high demand during peak seasons or special occasions. So basically, mark-on is being used to maximize earnings and the price is usually returned to its original selling price when the demand for the product is on a normal level. And the formula to find the mark-on that is mark-on equals new selling price minus selling price or mark-on equals mark-on rate multiplied by selling price. So these are the basic concepts that you need to remember in order for us to understand what is mark-on. So let's start and let's have an example. On example number one, the fast selling item in a department store is currently being sold for 680 pesos. Because of high demand for the item, the store decided to apply a mark on percentage of 20%. Find the new selling price. To determine the new selling price, let us identify first our given. So let us have the selling price. That is 680 pesos and we have a mark on rate that is 20% and we are looking for the new selling price. To determine the new selling price, let us use the formula mark on is equal to mark on rate multiply by selling price so mark on rate that is 20 percent if we are going to write this one into decimal that is 0 0.20 so this will be 0 0.20 multiplied by the selling price that is 680 0 0.20 multiplied by 680 it will give us 136 pesos so this will be the mark on and we are going to use this one to determine the new selling price to determine the new selling price, we are going to use the formula mark on equals new selling price minus selling price. Mark on that is 136 equals new selling price minus selling price that is 680. Let us move negative 680 on the other side of equation. It will give us new selling price equals 136 plus 680. 136 plus 680, that is 816. So this will be the new selling price. And this will be our answer. On example number two, Manuel owns a flower shop in Dangwa. He knows that a lot of male customers will buy roses few days before the Valentine's Day. The cost of bouquet of roses is 80 pesos. A week before the Valentine's Day, the rate of markup based on selling price of bouquet is 10%. Manuel knew that even if he increases the selling price of bouquet of roses, people will still buy it. So he decided to put a mark on the 5% of its selling price. On letter A, how much is the actual price? Letter B, how much is the markup? Letter C, how much is the additional mark on? And letter D, how much is the new selling price after additional mark on? To answer the given problem, let us identify first our given. So let us have the cost that is 80 pesos. And then we have a markup rate based on selling price that is 10% or 0 0.10 in decimal. And also we have a mark on rate that is 5% or 0 0.05. On letter A, to determine the actual price or the selling price, let us find first the initial value of the markup. So let us use the formula markup equals markup rate multiplied by selling price. So we use this formula because our markup is based on selling price. So let us have 10% or 0 0.10 times the selling price that is SP. So if we are going to multiply this one, the initial value of markup that is 0 0.10 selling price. And we are going to use this one to determine the actual price or 
the selling price. So let us have the selling price equals cost plus markup. So the cost that is 80 pesos and then we have the selling price and then we have um, the markup that is 0 0.10 selling price. So let us move this one on the other side of equation. It will give us selling price minus 0 0.10 selling price equals 80. And to simplify, selling price minus 0 0.10 selling price that is 0 0.10. 90 selling price equals 80 and if we are going to divide this one we are going to have 88.88889 or if you are going to simplify this one our selling price that is 88.89 pesos so this will be our selling price and to determine the markup, which is letter B, let us have the initial value of markup that is 0 0.10 times selling price. So we have 0 0.10 multiplied by the selling price that is 88.89. If you are going to multiply this one, we are going to have 8.88889 or simply 8.89 pesos. So this will be the markup. And on letter C, we are looking for the additional mark on. So to determine the additional mark on, we are going to use the formula mark on equals mark on rate multiplied by selling price. Our mark on rate that is 5% or 0 0.05 times selling price that is 88.89. So if we are going to multiply this one, it will give us 4.44. So this will be the mark on. And to determine the new selling price after additional mark on, we are going to use the formula mark on equals new selling price minus selling price. Our mark on that is 4.44 equals new selling price minus the selling price that is 88.89. Let us move this one on the other side. It will give us new selling price equals 4.44 plus 88.89. 4.44 plus 88.89, that is 93.33. And this will be our answer. On our last example, David's Bookstore foresees that people will buy notebooks several days before the start of the new school year. The cost of the notebook in the store is 25 pesos. Two weeks before the start of the new school year, the store's rate of markup based on selling price is 8%. One week after the opening class, they decided to put additional mark on of 2% of its selling price. On letter A, what is the selling price? Letter B, what is the markup? Letter C, what is the additional mark on? And letter D, how much is the new selling price after additional mark on? To answer the given problem, let us identify first our given. So let us have the cost that is 25 pesos and then we have a markup rate based on selling price that is 8% or 0 0.08 in decimal and then we have a mark on rate that is 2% or 0 0.02. On letter A, we are looking for the selling price. So to determine the selling price, let us find first the initial value of the markup. So let us have markup equals markup rate multiplied by selling price. So we use this formula because our markup is based on selling price. So let us have markup rate that is 8% or 0 0.08 times selling price. So the initial value of markup is 0 0.08 selling price. And we are going to use this one to determine the selling price. So to find the selling price, we are going to use the formula selling price equals cost plus markup. 
So our cost, that is 25 pesos. So let us have selling price equals 25 plus markup, that is 0 0.08 selling price. And let us move this one on the other side of equation. It will give us selling price minus 0 0.08 selling price equals 25. And to simplify this one, let us have selling price minus 0 0.08 selling price equals 25. That is 0 0.92 selling price equals 25. And to simplify, let us divide both sides by 0 0.92. Let us cancel this one. 25 divided by 0 0.92, that is 27.17. 39 or 27.17 so this will be the selling price and on letter b to find the markup let us have markup equals 0 0.08 times selling price so let us have 0 0.08 times the selling price which is 27.17 if you are going to multiply this one we are going to have 2.17 39 or simply 2.17 so this will be the markup and on letter c what is the additional mark on so to determine the mark on we are going to use the formula mark on equals mark on rate times the selling price mark on rate that is 2 percent or 0 0.02 times the selling price that is 27.17 and if you are going to multiply this one, it will give us 0 0.54. So this will be the mark on. And to determine the new selling price after additional mark on, we are going to use the formula. Mark on equals new selling price minus selling price. Mark on that is 0 0.54. And then we have new selling price minus selling price that is 27.17. And let us move this one on the other side of equation. It will give us new selling price equals 0 0.54 plus 27.17. If you are going to add this one, it will give us 27.71. So this will be the new selling price. So I hope you learned from this video. Thank you so much for watching and God bless us all.